hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in this video I'll be doing my full coverage glam foundation routine so if you'd like to see how I got this look please keep watching all right so we're gonna start off with um, priming the face my face is already moisturized I'm actually gonna go in with my Smashbox primer water my absolute favorite primer as you can see I'm like running very low it's I, I need a re-up okay so moving on to foundation I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin um, 12 hour hydrating foundation um, I have to mix two shades to get my perfect shade so I have 2.2 and 2.1 this is just gonna dump this on Now with the Beauty Blender, mine is, is dirty from this morning, from when I used it this morning. And it's kind of dry already. It's not completely, but I'm going to spray a little bit of the primer water on there. And just going to pounce away. Now I like to do a light, soft pounce just because you get a, I feel like you get the you get the most out of your foundation with a sponge. A sponge does tend to kind of like shear out your foundation, but just the application is like you can't compare. It just leaves such a natural, smooth um, base. So yeah, All right, so I already did my like first layer. And now I'm just going to kind of go in over the certain areas I feel like I could use a little bit extra coverage, um, mostly in like here. Now I'm sure you guys noticed in my last video, my face was horrendous. It was so dry and so much texture. Now my skin has gotten better since. Um, I don't know what's going on. I've never had to deal with like texture. Acne, yes, but never texture. And now it's like barely any acne and a whole lot of texture. And I just don't know how to deal with it. And I'm used to having such oily skin. And now it's like a, I mean, I get oily, but definitely not as oily. Uh, with the good comes the bad and vice versa, I guess. I'm going to use the, um, Heart Shape Tape Concealer and Light Medium Honey. I'm going under the eyes here with this. I don't get how some people like really just slather this on. This is so incredibly like pigmented that you definitely don't need the amount that you see some people like put on. Like I feel like that's just it's a little much. Mm -hmm. Blend it in with the beauty blender. Get in there, and I'm actually gonna put it onto the eyelids as a base for the eyeshadow. And I love this concealer because it covers so well and it brightens amazing. Like look at this. It is a little bit drying though. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I've been really good lately about moisturizing my um my face really well so that it doesn't look crazy underneath the eye okay so to contour I've actually really been loving the matchstick from Fenty Beauty in the shade mocha um, to contour the nose mostly like I said the face I don't really do anything crazy um, but for the nose I absolutely love it so I just kind of draw on the lines so I draw on the lines like this so with this shadow brush, this is from Crown Brush. It is a double-ended crease and shadow brush. So I use the fluffy shadow side to blend it out. I think it does an amazing job. And I've really been loving how the nose contour looks with this. Now to bring it up here, kind of like to my brows. Okay, so when I have this, which kind of looks a little, a little crazy, 
go with the beauty blender over top and just further blend that out. Now, I personally don't like a crazy strong nose contour, but enough to, obviously the point is to have a, a natural looking contour. So I pretty much leave it like this. And the powders kind of help also settle it down some and whatever. So to bronze my face, um, I like to use my um, Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's this little putty looking thing. And this thing lasts forever, you guys. It's expensive, not gonna lie. But it's amazing and it lasts forever like it's hard to kind of like go through this so I just take um dense fluffy angled brush kind of just dip it in there and go to town so I still go over this with powder but I like um to do with cream first just because I feel like it lasts longer it doesn't fade and it looks more natural now this is a full coverage like kind of look it's not glam as far as the eyes are gonna go the eyes are gonna keep it pretty simple but full coverage this is definitely like for a night out you know or something like an event an important event where you definitely need the makeup to to you know last this is the way to go so to set my under eyes I use the Kat Von D um, locket setting powder I do kind of like to bake mainly the sides of my nose because my nose is where I get oily but I do like to bake a little bit um, it really helps to kind of lock the makeup in and and um, prevent you like if you're oily from getting extra oily or you know um, any creasing happening okay and now for the rest of the face I will use my RCMA translucent or no color powder which actually looks like that and I'm just using an e.l.f. Uh, powder brush. And just, just lightly dab all over the face. I don't do too much. Again, my skin is not as oily as it used to be. Um, but if you're oil more, like if you're very oily, then definitely like pack on that powder. Make sure your um, the, so make sure the foundation won't budge. So now that I'm looking, you know, I'm going to move on to brows. I'm actually going to do that off camera. So I'll be right back. Eyebrows done. But now that I'm done with that, I'm going to dust off all this excess powder. And so I'm going to go in with, with my Too Faced bronzing powder and my fluffy morphe 5 m527 brush just kind of gonna dab in there and just lightly i don't need to do too much just because i've already cream contoured i'm just gonna lightly go over those contour lines of the nose and that is it so i'll just go home i'm just kind of blending out um the nose okay so now using Mac Melba blush my favorite um and this is a target blush brush or powder brush from the up and up brand love this brush just gonna I'm not big on like having a strong blush I kind of like just a flush of it you know so I'm gonna use the ColourPop um, and I Love Sarahi uh, collab eyeshadow palette in Cheeky, and I'm gonna go in with this color, which is Freckles. 
um, and just buff that into the crease. Mostly concentrating and blowing it out in the outer corner and then just lightly bringing that in. My eyelids aren't ashy and crusty anymore. So this is actually the only color we're going to use in the eyes. Just keep it like that. And then just take the tiniest bit, same brush, and just kind of run it on the lower lash line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> run it on the lower lash line. Just to give a little something. And that's it for the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to use the Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. Again, just to prep my lashes for falsies. So I hit the bottom lashes as well. I mean, my lashes, like I don't have the best lashes, so I feel like sometimes doing the bottom doesn't even really make a difference, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna use the House of Lashes in Pixie Lux. Okay, so the lashes are on, and I'm actually gonna go into the inner corner with a little bit of liner, of eyeliner, because um, the lash band is so thick that it kind of just like cuts off on the inner corner and that is annoying. I feel like it couldn't be more obvious I was wearing, I'm wearing false lashes. So I'm gonna go with a red lip. I'm gonna use Lime Crimes Red Velvet. I'm just gonna use this Rimmel Lasting finish, stay on lip color pencil in red, 02 red daytime. Mm -mm -mm. Now I do not overline, overdraw my lips. I don't, I don't need to. My lips are naturally very full. But if that's, you know, what you like, then girl, do you, guy, do you, because you want these lips to look nice and plump. You know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to do it. Let's do it. For the review that I did on the the Fenty Beauty line. I used Trophy Wife on a dual fiber brush and I loved how it came out so that's actually how I'm going to do it today. Um, but I'm only going to use this on my cheeks. But now for the nose, um, I will use Max Oh Darling. Now this is the uh, packaging of the original um, collection that I came out with, and now it's permanent in the regular black Mac packaging. Um, so yeah, this is Max Oh Darling, and I'm actually gonna use the brush that I used for contouring. I'm gonna use now the other side, which is a pencil. And gonna dip into that and highlight my nose. Alright, so now I'm just gonna finish off by using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And that is actually the finished look, you guys. So this is how I achieve my full coverage glam kind of look. Now, as far as glam goes, I can do a strong eye and a nude lip or whatever. The, as far as the eyes and lips goes, you can kind of just go for whatever you like, whether you like a dark eye 
for a more simple eye like this, you know, and switch up the lip. Um, but as far as glam face, full coverage, this is how I like to do. So this is the finished look, you guys. This is how I achieve my full coverage, glam kind of look um, as far as full contour and highlighting and everything like that. Um, and yeah, that is all. All the products used in this video will be listed down below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I like to do. So. Looking like a like a fly Spanish mommy. Ooh.